Hey everybody and welcome to Schoolism Interviews mini-series. In her artistic career, Carla Ortiz's work has been wide and varied. As a concept artist, Carla has worked for amazing studios such as Ubisoft, Industrial Light Magic, Universal Studios, and Marvel Studios, and many more. As a professional illustrator, her images have been featured on covers and in books published by Wizards of the Coast, Ace Books, Tor Books, as well as numerous independent authors and toy makers. As a fine artist, she has shown in the Studio Gallery SF, the Safe House Studios shows, Spoke Art Gallery, Nucleus Gallery, and Think Space. So without further ado, here is the wonderful, the incredible Carla Ortiz. Please enjoy. So a lot of times our biggest lessons, they don't come from our successes, they come from our failures. And so do you have a cautionary tale for artists so that they can learn from one of your mistakes? How did you get out of that? What did you learn from it? Okay. Um, I have many, many stories of failure. <laughs> um, now the question is, do I want to tell the same old story that I tell everybody? Or did I tell a new story that is fun to kind of understand? I think I'm going to go for the new one, right? Something that I can only get here. So it was my first uh, month at Industrial Light and Magic. And what a lot of people don't know is that I was suffering through extreme crippling self-doubt. Um, here I was. This was my big jump. I always dreamed to be amongst the people that made Star Wars. I was, you know, in all kinds of Incredible movies. I was surrounded with some of my heroes in the art business, uh, some of the best of the best. And I just did not believe that I, you know, belong there. I did not believe that I could do it. Um, and I was so horrified. Um, not just that, but I didn't work on 3D like some of the other artists did. Um, so sometimes I would make things faster, sometimes I would make things slower, but always and forever, I would always present something that was just a simple 2D image versus what they presented, we turned around, flipped, and it was overall more useful. So I thought that I had shot myself in the foot, <laughs> honestly, by just being like, no, I want to paint for a living instead of, you know, I want to do it everyone else you know does but again I do want to note, and this is very important that's for me that's because I love to paint and that's it like I tried 3d I did give it a chance but it just wasn't for me and I think that's important for artists to understand that sometimes you can really enjoy something and not enjoy other things and that's okay like I, I wholeheartedly admire the people who use 3d beautifully at the things that people do. but it wasn't for me um, so we were doing a project, and I just, I just wanted to quit. I wanted to go home and just weep because it, I just didn't think I could do it. And I thought I was failing. And um, this is going to bring up one of our favorites and another board of <laughs> another member of the council, <laughs> Mr. Ian McKegg, who came by. You know, we used to work together. He came by the cubicle and was just like, hello Carla, are you still working? I'm like, yes, but I'm about to head out. He's like, let's go, let's go head out. So we're both at the elevator and I'm really not in the best of moods. And he just lets out a giant sigh. He's like, ah. and I'm like, what's going on, Ian? And he's just like, well, today was a little bit more difficult than others. It really was. Because I tried to get this concept as best as I could, but it just wasn't working. Tomorrow will be better. And that's a very small little snippet in an elevator ride. But my mind was like, yeah. <laughs> because here's a human that I've loved and work most of my life. Um, that I looked up to. To me, he was and still is a grand wizard. Someone who just thinks art and it's right there for you to see. And to, to, um, to know that this incredible human also has days if things just don't click as well as they should. That was kind of life-changing. Um, so I came back the next day, and I realized, that, hey, maybe I just had a bad day. And I came back and nailed the work and realized that, yeah, sometimes you do have a bad day. And the 
best thing anybody can do is to disassociate yourself from those bad things. To not say to yourself, hey, I had a bad day, therefore I am less than. Therefore, I don't belong. Therefore, I I can't do this. Like, that is the single most like damaging thing a person can do to themselves. Rather than say, I had a bad day, therefore it was a bad day. Tomorrow's going to be better. Now, a huge part of the success of this channel and everything that I do is because of you, the listener. So thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and then press the notification button because that way you'll get instant notification the next time I put out a new video. Thank you very much.